Oh, so you want to talk about the unaliving of women and children and the taking of hostages? No problem, Jonathan. We can talk about that. Let's start at 1948 when the Nakba happened. This is where Zionist militias forcefully removed 750,000 Palestinians, including my father, from their homes. And would you like to guess what happened to the people who refused to leave their ancestral homeland? Over 15,000 of them got unalived, including women and children. Check all of these massacres. If you don't believe me, you could look up this video of this science soldier who literally admits to mowing down Palestinian children who surrendered and graping a 16-year-old girl. And he tells all of these stories while laughing. You see, that was a long time ago. Let's go to something more recent. Between 2008 and 2020, over 5,000 Palestinians were unalived. Yes, including women and children. Add to that, another tens of thousands were permanently injured or maimed. And you want to talk about the taking of hostages? Absolutely no problem. We can do that too. As of today, the number of Palestinians behind Israeli bars is 5,200, including 33 women and 170 children. Oftentimes, these Palestinians are abducted in the middle of the night with absolutely no due process and kept there for years. Children are often interrogated without a parent or a lawyer and threatened with violence and rape. And on top of all this, these people are not judged by a civil court system. They're judged by the military court system with a 99% conviction rate. This means that if you go under this court system, there's a 99% chance that you will be found guilty and go to jail. So disrespectfully, do not come to me trying to start a conversation about the unaliving of women and children and the taking of hostages if you do not include Palestinians in that conversation.